We need to talk about the quest controversy and drama. But before I do that, I need to change real quick. Ah, there we go. Ah, yes. Hearthstone Creator Program. Now, the reason why I felt like I had to put on this shirt is because we have a lot of things to talk about within the Hearthstone community, but I want to make this claim at the very beginning before we even talk about any of the controversies or any of the drama that's happened so far. And I'm going to actually zoom in on my face, and I'm going to talk to the Blizzard higher-ups. Yes, that's right. I'm addressing you guys at the very beginning of this video because I want to say that I do not believe this is the fault of the design. I want to say that the reason that we're going through all this crap right now is because the higher-ups or the executives that are in charge of all these decisions that essentially force the designers into these into these tasks that they really don't want to do it's all because of pressure from high uh, from the higher-ups and the executives trying to squeeze Hearthstone players and honestly Hearthstone out of every single penny that it's worth and before we begin talking about this I want to say that this practice is absolutely stupid because all you're doing is focusing on the short-term uh, profits and how much money you can squeeze as quickly as you can do it instead of actually turning Hearthstone into a lasting game. I really do believe that this is the best online card game in the world right now, but Blizzard and I hate to say it's incompetent executives keep making the stupidest decisions every single freaking time they can and it's completely taking the taking the wind out of the sails of things like we have a new we have a new uh, standard uh, update now that we have the weapon getting nerfed demon hunter finally is not choking up the meta there's a lot of things to get interested in hearthstone right now and case in point look at these patch notes we have battlegrounds duos coming out we have this brand new game mode all of these new heroes these new cards cosmetics there it's a really exciting time to play hearthstone right now and everybody is excited to play the game but no one is excited to talk about these stupid decisions that keep that keep leading us into the situation to where it's not about the content anymore we have to talk about blizzard we have to go down this direction because players are so frustrated they don't feel like they have any other decisions so i'm going to be venting a lot throughout this video it's going to be a very emotional video and the main reason why is because the way that this started the way that all this controversy started was being was this one sentence progression some daily and weekly quests have been adjusted to be harder to complete but will grant more at exp the most amb ambiguous statement that they can make giving us no questions and uh, or, or honestly no answers to even consider asking questions about and then boom suddenly players figure out that what's going on is that their quests have essentially been increased and the reward is not worth the more effort that you put into it in fact it technically gives you less reward for more time that you put into it i'm not going to go through all the math here because i feel like everybody is already familiar with what's going on in terms of like oh i have to play i have to play 15 games in order to get you know a, 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 a essentially a level and a half almost on the rewards track right i'm kind of estimating here but you, you do that 15 games can be anywhere between four hours to seven hours. So depending on what kind of decks you want to play, this is just absolutely crazy. And honestly, they are aware of this. They did roll this back. They wanted people to be aware that this is just, they just missed the effort. We heard your, your feedback and it's clear that we pushed too far. We pushed way too far with this update and they've even gone so far as to make an emergency uh, announcement talking about how they're going to scale back the rewards instead of 15 games it's now going to be 10 games but I hate to say it man the damage has already been done to the point where reddit is absolutely in flames right now and if you want someone to break down the math Hearthstone mathematics I really does uh, really does do a great job at explaining what exactly is going on here from like uh, how exactly these uh, these changes rolled out to the communication between the devs as well as giving us actual numbers to try and translate how much of a big deal this is because you are essentially going to be doubling, tripling, almost quadrupling the amount of time you're playing Hearthstone and barely getting like, what, 20% of extra gold and extra XP. That's just not worth it. To the point where somebody that I've actually talked to before, Tim Clark, if, you, if, you're, in, if you're on Twitter or if you're familiar with Hearthstone publications and online articles, you already know who Tim Clark is because he's a big Hearthstone fan. But even he is so sick of games that shoot themselves in in the foot just to boost phony player engagement numbers and i hate to say it hearthstone has been doing this 
since Microsoft, I mean, okay, well, before Microsoft bought them out, but it's become a lot more apparent since Microsoft has been in charge making these decisions. And I hate to say it, most game companies that get bought out by Microsoft tend to go under. And I don't believe it's because Microsoft is like this plague or something that doesn't know how to uh, how to invest within their games. I just don't think they let their developers develop their games genuinely they are trying so hard to maximize profits on every single front that you can't help but notice these things now i'm not going to go too much into this article because there's already a zeddy video talking about it in, in great detail and i want you guys to read this for yourself to make your own conclusions but one thing that i do want to point out is essentially this right here the only communication about the change was buried uh shamefacedly at the bottom of the patch notes where we were just literally talking about that earlier and the reddit thread instinctively puts on the math isn't mathing. They put this out. People immediately figured out that it wasn't lining up in terms of the numbers. And then what are you supposed to do? It's like, it, it seems like either the person who was responsible for this or the higher ups that are like, please make this happen, where they wanted people to meticulously create a system that will keep you playing Hearthstone, but isn't going to give you more rewards. So it is just yet Another smack to the face to the free-to-play casual players that don't want to invest this uh, invest money into the game or cannot invest money into the game. And I hate to say it, Microsoft and, uh, and, and Blizzard seem to be making it very obvious that if you don't pay money for this game, we don't give a damn if you leave because they keep making these practices that are actively going to be making people leave. Had what I like to think is an uncharacteristic rant on the old website, mostly about how disrespectful a certain kind of quest design has become, but it also uh, but also how it lets down the great work done elsewhere in some of these games. And that is why I personally am angry. Hearthstone is the best card, is the best online card game right now hands down but hearthstone has so much potential and i'm really tired of people saying that hearthstone has potential hearthstone has the has the great chance of being something good when it is something good but it keeps being drawn back by these stupid monetization models and these really bad decisions that are all about dicking over players how do you expect anybody to not complain on reddit about this how do you expect people to not want to compare uh, not want to complain not go to reddit not want to create a shit storm because you are quite literally not respecting your player base. This is what happens when you don't get respected, and it is obvious. It is so obvious that the reason why these decisions are being made is to try and maximize people's time in the game by not by actually gaslighting them into thinking that they're getting more. You're spending more time getting a bigger number, but the bigger number is at, you're getting that number less in frequency, so it's like you get more bigger numbers, but smaller numbers more frequently would get you more rewards. So it's just like, it's it's ridiculous. Nobody is happy about this. How, how predictable Blizzard management is at this point. Day three, do not let this die. You almost can't find any memes anymore because everybody is talking about this stupid thing. Like, we're not even talking about the 10 year anniversary. We're not talking about duos. We're not talking about standard. We're, we're mad about duels uh, being removed especially if you're more of a casual player that enjoyed that game mode but it's like the conversation is not about hearthstone game modes anymore or about enjoying the game it's all about everything else that surrounds it and this is the point and this is i'm actually gonna full screen myself so that way if there's any designers or any executives watching this it's 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 your fault for for taking the wind out of the sails of of these events because you want to focus on on the monetization so much to where you ruin these game modes you want to know what you could be doing you could be focusing on hearthstone's late game uh late game survivability you can make it a good game that people want to play that people want to invest their time in but the more you keep making these really stupid decisions you're just going to lead more people away you're going to con you're going to continue this narrative of blizzard being a scam company people trying to milk whales out of everything that they're worth and i hate to say it they have a legitimate they have legitimate criticisms because you guys keep doing this you keep disrespecting the player in order to get just a little bit more uh, just to get more freaking money to the point where i'm worried about my son blizzard please i'm worried about my son my i just had my wife come into the room literally shaking in tears she told me our son screamed at her knocked her chicken nuggets out of her hand slammed the door on her screaming of the patch demon hunter and quests uh i know that he's had a real addiction to this game hearthstone but his actions are lately starting to worry me hmm hmm whose actions are ruining me are, are worrying me now it's the executives it's these stupid people that keep making these decisions that are literally ruining hearthstone even though you are trying to get more sales out of it i'm sorry but i'm gonna keep calling it stupid because you are so nearsighted you're not focusing that you're like that you're literally killing the game while doing something like this 
I did some research and it appears a new quest uh, came out this week. Blizzard, can you please fix this update so my son will return to somewhat normalcy? I just stepped outside of his door. He's literally rolling on the floor screaming and I think he even defecated in his pants and it, as it smells awful. Guess what? This guy's talking about me. I'm the son. I'm upset. I've shit my pants because I'm mad. There's just nothing else that I can say at this point in order to convey just how fucking annoyed I am about this entire situation because it could have been avoided. You guys are aware of the math that was behind it, but you were hoping that people were not going to expect it. And now, I hate to say it, this is where the community frustration and the community outrage is actually warranted, but this entire video boils down to this tweet right here from Zeddy. In the last six months, Hearthstone has nerfed XP granted in mercenaries, nerfed XP earned from achievements, introduced uh, pay-only early access cards, and, we, uh, and have made weeklies three times as hard to complete for only 20% more. Can we please stop with this crap? You are, again, taking the wind out of the sails of all the other Hearthstone game modes to where everybody is now just just looking at monetization everyone is looking at the monetization about the game and how nobody nobody is happy about this not i don't even think the designers that made this are happy but they had to do it because they had the pressure from the from the uh, from the higher ups and that's just the real thing that i'm upset about is that people that i work with people that i actually want them to thrive have to deal with this crap and i'll tell you right now no one should be on the receiving end of this from the uh, from the design team, but they have to take the flack for it because they are our communication to Hearthstone itself. The executives get to sit in whatever fucking suite, you know, drinking champagne and all this kind of crap. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm talking a lot of shit right now, but I am so fucking angry that the people behind these decisions are not the ones that are getting flamed and are not the ones that are dealing with the ramifications and the, and the consequences of their fucking actions, which is why I believe this kind of mentality continues to exist because they they aren't the ones that are getting the flack. They aren't the ones that are getting punished for it. It's the designers, and guess what's probably gonna happen? Probably some more of these fucking things. But yeah, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So Ridiculous Hat decided to clarify everything to make sure that this is clear. This is the first round of quest turning, and there's, this is not going to be the only round. We are going to monitor the data, listen to your feedback, and work to rebuild your trust. We have more work to do, and we know it. Myself and the rest of the team have all been paying close attention to your feedback on weeklies, and we know more of that will come in. Also, as a note, this was a hotfix put together really fast, so you will not see the correct visual uh, values in the client. Case in point, it'll say 15, but it's actually uh, 10. Uh, if you go from 9 to 10, it'll automatically complete it. But again, dude, good people, the, the people that actually carry the uh, the idea that Hearthstone isn't just a fucking ca a cash grab, it's a community building game to where you can, in, you, that you can talk with people that have similar interests, that's not the focus right now. The focus is the fucking monetization. Blizzard greed is the only thing that matters nowadays. And it just really makes me upset that content creators, developers, people that, that do nothing but play Hearthstone are essentially being, you know, are essentially being chastised because of people that don't know what they're talking about. And honestly, I feel like Zeddy has one really good point in his video. I'd highly recommend it. Blizzard recommends to weekly uh, quest outrage. It's not great, but I feel like Zeddy has a very good point here that I wanted to specifically highlight in this video. That's like my big problem with this. It's so freaking obvious. Like nobody could possibly have not seen this coming, which makes the quick response and we're gonna make it better. Just so much less genuine, so much less impactful to the point where like, it's so freaking obvious. And he says, what I can't, what I find really unfortunate is that I cannot believe voices on the team weren't raised against this, but those people either aren't being listened to or being drowned out by upper management and the bean counters who work on the economy team whose job is not to ensure you have fun, but to keep you on the hamster wheel. T and that's my problem. My problem is that the executives make these really stupid decisions. They're like, make this happen into the game. Otherwise, something bad will happen. Who knows what ultimatums are being thrown around. And then suddenly, when something bad does happen and they have to roll it back and the community uh, the community managers and the develop, uh, development team ends up talking about their side of the issue, being like, this is what we were going for. We missed the mark and we're going to continue. This is exactly what I'm talking about, where it's like the people that care the most about the game that are doing the most amount of the work are essentially 
being, you know, straw manned as, as the enemy here because we don't know who's making the, these decisions. Is it the developers? Is it the people on the higher up thresholds of the, of the executive team or the Illuma fucking Nadia Blizzard? I don't freaking know at this point, but it's just really freaking obvious that whoever is behind these decisions does not give a damn about the player base of Hearthstone. And that's my fucking problem to where I ended up making a tweet talking about, you know, get, getting some other people's opinions. And honestly, I didn't get as much uh, response to this as I thought I would get. But just like one thing that I would I would want to me uh, mention is this right here. A uh, list of the recent time having in mind other games uh, I have played makes it uh, makes it clear the higher ups are pushing to make the free to play experience worse and force the microtransactions. The more uh, we let these uh, things slide, the worse it'll get. So never let these things slide. That's why it's what they want. They, I, I really didn't believe this idea that the, that the executives were trying to just like weasel their ways, just trying to monetize the game in every single freaking way possible to the point where they finally have something that goes under the radar unnoticed. Does doesn't cause any outrage and now suddenly they're gonna think oh wait we can continue to do this so i understand the slippery slope uh process that uh joshua here in particular is uh, bringing up but it's mostly just free-to-play players just saying that they really feel like they are not being respected the fallacy is uh, is saying that this is aimed at free-to-play mercenaries xp bug was never uh and it was never an intended feature and the targets to the casual and it, the target is the casual players they want to make them spend money on the grind and some people have even like been playing since beta and have finally quit because they just can't take this anymore there there are so many people that thought that Activision being bought out by Microsoft was going to bring a new era of Hearthstone that was going to revitalize the community, that was going to bring more people back to it, and might legitimize not only Blizzard, but Microsoft as a gaming company. Because again, Microsoft has gotten its hands on a lot of different gaming companies, and almost every single time, like Rareware, for example, the gaming company just isn't being given the resources, isn't being given the time, or is just being uh, just they're they're on crunch uh, schedules all the time. They're on the grind schedule every single freaking day, and it makes sense why these games are coming out half cooked half ready to go because it feels like the only thing that microsoft cares about is the fucking money and, and and laying off people and just trying to get as much money for literally doing the least amount within hearthstone and that is going to be me closing up this video where it's like the main problem that i have the main problem that i have the obvious issue that is going on right now is that whoever is making these decisions is trying to do the absolute least that they can do in order to make the most amount of profits and this is something that's been plaguing the game industry for so fucking long to where i have to make this statement games would be better if you focused on the late game survivability and just making the game fun Make the game fun. Stop trying to get your hand in our pockets every single fucking time that we just want to spend some time online. Why is it every single game I have to think about making a five a five dollar micro pay every single time I log into it? Why is there all this fucking heavy heavy monetization that just takes away from the game? And I, I know why it's there. I know why it's there because it works. And that's the problem that I have. Gamers are being taken advantage of b because they think that they're getting something more out of less. And that is just the main issue that I have with all this fucking controversy is that game developers or game executives or whoever's making these decisions don't give a damn about you. They don't give a damn about their bottom line. All they care about is filling their pockets with as much money as possible. And it is so goddamn annoying to see how obvious and disrespectful some of these practices really are. But that is about as mad as you are most most likely going to see me in these kind of videos and trust me i do not want to be this guy i don't want to be the angry armchair critic being like i know better than these companies i know better than than the people that spend millions of dollars on trying to advertise this game but you want to know something i really do believe that i know better than some of these individuals especially the executives at hearthstone because they aren't focusing on building a community they're not focusing on the game in 10 years from now they're focusing on just lining their pockets with as much as money as possible until eventually they probably jump ships and then go get that fucking yacht that they've been wondering they're taking the bobby Kodak method and it is just really annoying how obvious and how disrespectful this is so yeah that's my rant 
feel free to let me know what you guys uh, are thinking about in the comments but it's just like i'm so fucking sick and tired of this mentality where i just have to sit here and accept that my favorite game the game that i am d literally dedicating my fucking life to is going to be ruined by some rich fat cat fuck that doesn't give a damn about my community and doesn't give a damn about the longevity of this game so you want to know what i'm gonna go out confidently saying on this video that whoever was responsible for this change you are the issue with Hearthstone, you are the problem, and you need to start listening to the design team that actually values players' fucking time.